Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die. This is the Insane Nightmare Speed Tutorial, and I'm an old guy gaming, and we're going to pick up uh, pretty much right where we left off uh, in the last episode. Uh, so we're going to start by making our forge and then uh, going from there. If you guys find value in this video, if you enjoy it, if you learn from it, please take the time to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and the like button on each video. It doesn't cost you anything at all, and it does help the channel. Also, if you're interested, uh, I do have membership now going on the YouTube channel. If you take a look at the join button, you'll see three different tiers of membership offering different levels of perks. And if that's something you'd be interested in, I'd love to have you as a member. And finally, thank you very much for taking time out of your busy schedule to watch an old guy gaming. Let's get started. All right, so forge time, guys. It's forge time, so let's go in here. And um, I haven't even done any inventory management, not that I have a ton of inventory to manage, but uh, yeah, I haven't done that yet. So let's put all this stuff in here uh, that we don't need. Oh, this we're going to put right in the campfire and we should get some bacon and eggs cooking up uh, right now. So let's do that first before we do anything else. So we're going to grab uh, eight eggs and all of the meat. What, what did I do that for? Uh, bacon and eggs. I just finished uh, recording a couple of Subnautica episodes, uh, Below Zero episodes, and in that game you press the mouse button to activate stuff, so that's why I accidentally damaged my my fireplace there. Okay, so we got some food cooking up. That's a good thing. That is a very good thing. Now what we need for the forge is we need clay, pipes, duct tape, and leather, and we should be able to make our forge. Look at us in our bad selves. Oh, that's freaking awesome. Okay. Uh, so we'll get that going. Let's put this, we're going to put the, all of this clay in the forge once we get it up and uh, get it up, put up, set up. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> and um, then we can start smelting some iron. Uh, I think I did actually tell you guys uh, when I left you in the last episode that we, yeah, that is making up, um, you know, that I needed to go find some iron and I didn't actually do that. So I'm probably going to actually do that before we do anything else uh, in this episode. I'd like to fill these jars too, but man, the water is so far away from here. Uh, you know, relatively speaking. But you know what I could do is I could be looking for iron uh, along the way. So yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Uh, let's go ahead and grab this water here. And I'm going to drink as much of it as I can so I can fill this up and bring back. Now I want to save some of the murky water for glue. We have a little bit there too. So we're going to put this in the forge as well. That was a, a nice find this early in the game. We have a little more iron here, too, that we can smelt up. And, yeah, so I think I think we're good. Uh, so let's turn this off. And so, guys, yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the camera here. We're going to put the forge down, uh, I don't know, probably right here as good a place as any. Let's upgrade this. And put that down there. Okay, we'll put this in this slot, get this stuff in here, put about half our wood in there, and then I'm going to go out and about, I'm going to, oh, I did it again, Subnautica, uh, I'm going to go out and about, I'm going to fill these jars up with the water, I'm going to mine up some iron, and then, um, you know, maybe cut a little bit more wood too, and when I get all of that stuff done, I will come back and we will do whatever we're going to do today, whatever our adventure, wherever our adventure takes us today. All right, so I'll see you guys back here in a bit. Guys, I think we're ready to uh, head on out. Let me adjust something here really quick. Okay, here we go. Um, okay, so we have uh, eight things of red tea. We have a couple bacon eggs and more bacon eggs cooking up in there, so we're fine on food and drink. Um, I'm making uh, several iron arrows, and I have 12 more, and we'll pick up some more uh, feathers as we go along. And I think we're ready to go out and about. Now, we're going to do... Um, I think what I'm going to do... This is going to be a long walk, but it might behoove us to go ahead and do Taylor's treasure map. 
uh, just because we'll get we should get a nice little chunk of change. Excuse, excuse me, and maybe a couple other you know useful things too. But we'll have the money that we can then spend at the trader, you know, for other things we're going to need. Uh, so I think I'm gonna we're gonna make that trek over. Oh shit, though, is that gonna be in the snow? That might be a little more difficult. Yeah, that's almost certainly in the snow. Shoot. Okay, maybe we won't do that right now. I'd rather go over there with a the vehicle if, if it's going to be in the snow, because the snow is going to be quite the challenge. All right, well, let's go with plan B then. Uh, so here's plan B. We're going to go over to the A-frame because... Oh, wait. I can't get out over here anymore. i got to fix that at some point. Uh, because... There is a workbench in the A-frame, and there's a chance that it might actually work for us. I'm going to put this down here uh, so we can just jump out the window. I guess we'll set that right there. We should be able to, to aim for that. You know what we could do, too, is we could put that there as like a little stepping block. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's just put that right there. That way we can come out this side too if we need to get away. Okay, so yeah, let's go hit the A-frame and see if it has a working workbench. And it also has some loot in there too that we could get. And then, you know, we'll see how our time goes after that. But yeah, the treasure map, if that's in the snow, that's going to be really tough for us to do at this point. I mean, not impossible, but just, you know, pr pretty tough for us to do. So let's go around this side. Make sure there's no zombos in the immediate vicinity. And we're going to sneak through the basement here. Let's grab this wood while we're here because it's just easy easy to get. And we get a decent amount of it. Okay, so we're going to want to block this. Because there's going to be a zombie right around the corner, usually. Get that out of the way. Yeah, there's a Marlene right there. So, yeah, we'll, we'll be able to take her out. Easy. Easy peasy. <laughs> She's looking at us. Okay, we'll pick that up. Check the stuff in here. We got a glue. That's good. Let's put our shovel. Where is our shovel? Do we not have a shovel? I might have scrapped it. Stone shovel. We need uh, one more plant fiber. Okay, so let's grab this cobble. Some more feathers that we can turn right on into arrows. Nothing up there but some boxes, which we could harvest for paper, but I think we will right now. All right, before we do anything else, let's block this off again, and we're going to break through this direction. There's a bag there. Oh, uh, yeah, nice. That's a bit of an upgrade. We'll scrap this. And I don't think there's any zombos in this room on the left here. And this is where the loots are, too. But let's sneak down, or crouch, rather. And we're going to block this off here. Oh, that's already blocked off. Okay. Well, we'll block it anyway, because there is usually a zombie on the other side of this wall, and if they wake up, we can kill them. Okay, we got another one of those. Shotgun shells. Let's wrench the chair so we get more resources from it. Nice. We're going to wrench the lamp. Get brass and electrical components if you wrench them. And iron. Check this. We're getting the sewing kits. Uh, okay, so let's pop these guys open. Be nice to get some iron tools here, game. All right. 
Well, an upgraded axe. We're moving up very slowly, but moving up nonetheless. Scrap that. Uh, that's a better shovel, so scrap that. And we will take the wiring tool. We'll need it later. Though we'll probably come across plenty of them by the time we're ready to actually use it. Shamway box. Give us some food. Well, okay, that's not quite what I had in mind. I don't think there's anything else up there. No, there isn't. All right. Now, what we're going to do, let's pick that back up and go back through here. Okay. I don't, I don't think there's any zombos in this first area here. Let's get that out of the way. Oh, there is, that looks like a bow. All right, so we need to get Bo's attention. Oh, that's not good. I didn't time that one very well, did I? Okay, let's go out here. Bo's kind of fast, so let's just get up here. Oh, shit! <laughs> that's not working out so well. Okay. See, our stamina is not doing well. There. Okay. Let's rest for just a second, get some stamina back, and then we'll thump him. I don't want to use my blunderbuss unless I have to. Oh, off with your arm. Okay. Dealt with him. Wasn't the most uh, eloquent uh, combat that we've done, but you know what? We got through it. That's the important thing. Okay, let's go back down here. So we should be clear for this immediate vicinity. Let's get rid of this trigger here. Just in case. Let's just put that. That'll stop the zombie for a second, enough for us to get away. Okay, does this work? It doesn't. Well, shoot. All right. Well, um... Let's at least take it apart. And what I'm going to do here is that. So if a Zombo does come, we can take him out. All right. So let's take this apart. We'll get some irony and get some, some other stuff from it. It was worth a try. There's usually a Zombo in there underneath the stairs. And what is in here? Ammunition. Okay. Oh, oh shit. Oh, that scared me. <laughs> Jeez. Let's harvest this for the coal. Um, And this cement here. Okay, so we could... We could go upstairs and clear the rest of the place. Uh, there's a couple bookshelves and a kitchen and some other things. I don't know if I want to actually do that, though. Uh, plus, we got a zombo there. Let's see if we can aggro that zombo from here. Because this is already blocked. He didn't even wake up. Okay, that gives us a free sneaky sneak shot. You did. Okay, let's leave that spot there just in case we need it again for combat later. Check the washing machine for clothing. Nothing. Oh, that sucks. Okay. That's sucker rooskies. Give us our arrow back. Harvest this. Okay. Um, it's going to be a little bit tough for us to fight up here because there's not a lot of choke points. Unless we pulled everyone back downstairs, which we could do. I'm just trying to think if I want to spend time 
going up there. I mean, we got a kitchen, we got a bathroom, we got one, maybe two bookcases up there. That's really it because we've already got the end loot. So I don't think that's worth our time. Let's let's go. Let's just go. All right. So let's see what's next on the agenda. Um, I've got some off camera stuff to do. So, you know, I need to mine some more iron, which means it would really help if we could get ourselves a friggin uh, iron pick. Uh, but that means I'm going to have to side step from taking points. Oh, we have a point here too in intellect, which I really don't want to do. I want to get tinkerer so we can make our own workbench because it just sucks not being able to have, you know, have a workbench. And so, you know what? We're just going to do it. We're going to stick to our guns. We're going to pump intellect to four so we can get tinkerer the next time. And then it's also going to let us get mini bike master and we can bypass the bicycle altogether and just go straight to a mini bike. Usually, oh, I guess I already knew that, don't I? Um, usually I do that anyway. I, I haven't made the bicycle in a very long time in this game. Um, so yeah, I think that's going to be a good strategy for us to employ. So the question now is, do I really want to go here? And the answer is not so much <laughs> knowing that it's most likely in the snow. It's too bad that it did, you know, that it didn't put it somewhere else, but it didn't. Um, I guess we could go back to our original town. You know, we're a little bit better equipped to go across country now and get the rest of our stuff that we left there and turn in our quest. We're not going to make it by the end of tonight, though, is the problem, because it's already 8 o'clock at night. Um, let's just feed some stuff into here that we can, can feed into here. I'm going to spend the night, uh, just my, you know, getting, harvesting more resources. Uh, we're going to go, I'm going to go grab a bunch more iron. It's going to suck because I'm going to have to use the stone hatchet, but what can you do, right? Uh, probably get some more wood going too. Maybe dig up some more clay. And then tomorrow morning, I think what we will do is work our way back towards our, uh, our original town, which is all the way back down here, but we might take a different route just to uncover some more territory um, because we have a, a quest to turn in with this guy, first of all. And secondly, uh, we have some stuff in the fire station here, I think it is, um, that we could bring back here that we could actually use. All right, guys, we're back. It is morning, and uh, I spent an uneventful night uh, starting an iron mine here next to the house. So let's get this last little piece here. And boom, we got it. Okay, let's grab the torch and head on up. So yeah, this is just right across the street from our house here. There was a little uh, deposit here. I'll pick that torch up too. And we have we also got a point overnight, so we might as well go ahead and take that next uh, point in uh, the point that we need for the workbench. Uh, so let's go to intellect and we want to go to advanced engineering and stinker. Boom. There we go. All right. Now we can craft a workbench. Let's take a look and see what we need to make the workbench. Uh, we need 25 forged iron. Ooh, the claw hammer might be a stopping point there. But you know what? I think we have a claw hammer back at the at the fire station, which is just another reason why we need to go over there. Uh, okay. So... Let's do this then. Let's take and smelt that clay into here. Um, actually here. No, we'll do that and we'll put this iron here. And that should give us a nice little supply of iron. Let's turn these into cloth. This we're going to take and sell at the trader. And uh, we don't need to take the ingots with us to the trader, so we're going to keep that stuff in here for now. One thing we might uh, want to do, though, is make one repair kit for our wrench. So we need a duct tape and a... Uh, an ingot for that. But... I might actually hang on to the repair kit until this is worn all the way out, just to, you know, get maximum efficiency out of things. Put that in there and that in there. 
All right, I think we're good to go. Hopefully we can hit a couple more bird's nests along the way. So you're busy smelting that stuff. You're not doing anything. Uh, I don't have enough eggs to make another bacon and eggs. Uh, but we do have some canned food. And we have water and we have red tea. So we're in pretty good shape. Okay, uh, we need to eat and drink though. So let's go ahead and take a couple of bacon and eggs. We're gonna need two. And you can see that I made some coffee last night, too, for, for stamina emergencies. Uh, let's drink two of these as well. And then we'll store the jars in there. I think everything else we want to take with us. And we're ready to set out. All right, let's go back to our original place, get our quest turned in, because it should be 6 a.m. by the time we get there. And um, uh, actually, no, that's way down here and get the stuff out of the firehouse that we want to bring back with us. Let's do this. Um, actually, too, I'm going to make... We're going to go due south until we get to about here-ish, and then we'll turn and head um, east from there. Trader. Let's get Larry the Lumberjack out of here. Don't want to mess with that guy. We'll do our turn in, see what we get, and then uh, go grab whatever we want to take from the firehouse back to the new base. Yeah, run that way, dummy. Okay, we got I think a real life here. 127.62 is uh, what we should take now. Let's take a quick look at his inventory. Um, He has... A, oh, wow. Well, yeah, he's got a claw hammer, but that's way out of our reach. Besides, like I said, I'm pretty sure we have one. Uh, I'm going to buy that. Let's buy another one of those. Uh, I'm pretty sure we have a hammer in the in the firehouse. Oh, there's a workbench right there, but way too expensive for us to be able to afford at this point. Just taking a quick look and see what else he has. Sell your goods, but if you cross me, you'll meet the raw. A sale is a sale, even if it's to a scumbag like you. Okay, he's on the other side. So let's vamanos. So yeah, we'll take, um, I mean, real basic stuff that's just not that big of a deal to get at the new base. We're not going to haul over there, but the hammer is pretty valuable at this point in time to us. So that kind of thing we're going to take. We've not looted this car, huh? Let's do it now. Oil is pretty valuable. The plastic we could probably leave behind if we have to. Let's get her out of the way. Okay, so we basically just need to get to the upper floor and into that room there. The lower floor is uh, already secured, so we don't need to worry about anything coming from the lower floor to get up there.
We still have a bed roll down, but it's not active, so I don't think it's going to be doing anything. Let's just block this room here. Anything in here? Yeah, we'll take the wood. And let's see what we got. We're going to take the armor. And the ammo and the money and the recog and the eggs. And all of that. This is pretty valuable. Let's leave the plastic here. That's easy enough to get on the other side. <clears throat> okay. Uh, we're going to break down all of the brass and take it with us. Concrete, cloth. No, we have plenty of cloth. Uh, I think I am going to take the duct tape. Gas, electric motors, that sort of thing we can get easy enough. This we can turn into another duct tape to save a slot. So let's do that right now. Okay, here's the hammer. And we're definitely going to take the beaker. Let's take the bicycle handlebars just in case. We don't need the pipe. We don't need... We already have feathers, so we'll take that. We already have leather, so we'll take that. We already have nails. Uh, don't... We have a wiring tool already, so we don't need to take that. I want to take the oil, which we already have here. Paper we don't need to take. Gunpowder, not too worried about that because we can start making that later. So yeah, I think I think we can leave the rest of this here. I mean, the flashlight, hmm, I guess that wouldn't be a bad one to take either. So maybe we'll grab that too. All right, let's do a sort. And um, $1 is not worth taking up a slot at this point. We're going to leave the dollar behind. The other, the other option though is just to take a steroid, which I think we're going to have to do anyway. And just book it back home. Uh, and even if it runs out, we have two. So if, if we're going to do that, then let's take the gunpowder with us. Uh, that stuff is just not a big deal, really. Let's look in here again for a second. Yeah, there's just nothing in there we absolutely have to take with us. And you could almost really say the same thing for about for this, too. But, I mean, if we're going to take the steroid anyway, I guess we'll take the gas, the iron, the eight electrical parts, and 45 cloth is 45 cloth, right? So we'll take that too. Okay, that fills us completely up. So we're massively encumbered, but what we're going to do is we're going to eat a bacon and eggs. We're going to drink a tea. Actually, we're going to drink both teas. That'll free up one slot. And then we're going to pop... Uh, where is it at? This. We're going to pop a steroid and see if we can make it back. Uh, I also have coffee, too, because we're going to get thirsty again, but see if we can make it back from here. I was afraid that was going to maybe get somebody's attention. We can just get around over here without attracting them. Let's go. Got uh, Farmer Brown over here.
Okay, we've made it home. That was a pretty good journey. Uh, we only had one sort of kind of close call with Darlene, but otherwise we did quite well. And we have 48 seconds left on our steroids. Okay, good deal. So let's just stack anything in there that'll stack for now. And then this is going to be new stuff. Uh, here, I'm going to put that in there. No, actually, let's... We don't have any meat in there. Okay, let's turn this into bacon and eggs just right now. Good. That gives us six more. Very nice. Okay, so that takes care of that. Uh, we'll put the extra meat in there, and that can go in there. I'm going to save the murky water for now for more glue. Uh, but we are going to make some more chrysanthemum tea. Or red tea, more precisely. So you need about four, a little over four minutes more of burn time. Uh, did that, that put all our wood in here, didn't it? Okay, good enough for that. We can put this in here. It looks like we need uh, some more wood in here too. So that should go in there. Let's finish up that last bit of clay. We'll add the iron to this. Put the beaker in there for now and the extra drugs that can go in there. Those can go in there, those can go in there, and that can go in there. Okay, so we have to make a decision now. We can make the workbench right now, but in doing so, we're going to lose our wrench. So, um, I'm just trying to think if I should make the workbench now and then go look for another wrench or wait until we find another wrench first. And I'm not sure what the answer to that question is. But hey, before we do anything else, I think it's time for us to start thinking about wearing some armor now. Um, so, we have... The only thing we don't have is a chest piece, not a, a heavy chest piece. We could make one, but it's going to be shitty level, but not, not that that really matters because everything we're doing right now is shitty level. <laughs> uh, scrap iron chest. Scrap chest armor. So that's going to... Uh, oh, that's cheap. Yeah, let's just make it. What the hell? We're going to go We're gonna go armored now. It's going to make a big difference for us, I think. Uh, so... Let's grab some of this scrap back out of here before we accidentally melt it all. And we're going to need some leather, too. So let's grab that. Um, and then everything else we already have. So we just have to repair it. Okay. So. <clears throat> whoops. Let's go here. And get rid of um, all of the current armor that we have. We still need to find a little bit better clothing, too. <laughs> Uh, we'll put the chest armor on, and we're going to need, I guess we're going to need repair kits for these. Well, we don't necessarily at the moment. Let's just, are these the same? Yeah. So we'll put these on our hands. That can get scrapped. Helmet can go there. And that gets us a full set of armor. Uh, no. Oh, we need legs too. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we need legs. So scrap leg armor right here. What are we missing? Uh, we need another duct tape. We got that covered. Okay, so what this is going to obviously do is it's going to allow us to, to take a few hits um, and not, you know, worry about biting the dust like almost immediately. So let's modify this. We'll put the ball cap mod on it. There we go. And yeah, we're looking pretty good. These aren't in ter terrible shape. And armor doesn't wear out very quickly in the game. Uh, I think I'd rather save my duct tape until we have just a little bit more. And then these things we could either fix up and sell. Um, we should fix up and sell because it don't, I think these only require cloth. And not an actual repair. Well, that requires a repair kit. Okay. So, yeah, let's hang on to these for now. Um, we could probably fix them up and sell them later when we have a little bit more resources.
Yeah, see, that sells for 28. I mean, not that much, but it's something, right? Okay, so we'll put the leather back in there. We can put the grass and the cloth in there. So, yeah, we're doing pretty good. Oh, yeah, we'll put the ammo in there, too. Okay. So, I guess the question now is, do we want to melt down uh, or lose our wrench in favor of a workbench? Let's take a look at our skills here. So, we're, we're about 60% of the way there. And the next thing we're going to take is a uh, grease monkey uh, mini bike, so we can start working on the mini bike. But we're going to need to be able to wrench cars to get gas and oil. We're going to need acid for wheels or have to find wheels. So I don't know. I kind of hesitate to give up the wrench at the moment. I think we should probably hang on to it um, for now until we can find another one. So I think that's what we're going to do. Seems to me like that's just going to be the wisest course of action. Oh, you know what? We did use our repair kit on this. Dark on it. We absolutely did, didn't we? Well, okay. We did, so it is what it is. It is what it is. We have one thing of acid, so we could make one one wheel so far. We'll need two, of course. So, yeah. All right, you guys. Well, I think we're going to wrap things up here. This was a good episode. I think we accomplished some, some good stuff. Uh, but, again, I want to find another wrench before we give up the only wrench that we have. And the way to do that, of course, is to continue looting POIs and looking in sinks in particular. Uh, so I think that's what we're going to be doing in the next episode. We've got eight bacon and eggs. we got ten red tea. So we're doing great on, you know, food and water. And I'm feeling pretty good about where we are so far in the playthrough. Uh, so let's put the hammer back away in here for now. Because um, we're just going to use that for the workbench. And that still gives us these slots here. All right, guys, I'm going to let you go here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.